Hey, what's going on today, everybody? Uh, bring the video today. This one's gonna be a little bit different. Oh, what's that? Give me a drink. This one's gonna be a little different because I'm gonna be recording inside the house, which I've never done before. Um, pretty much what, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be making a video today on how I shop for diesel parts. Um, I think it might be helpful. It might be helpful to you. It might be helpful to somebody who's never really had experience in it. You know, if you're that guy that always is going to, you know, advanced auto O'Reilly's, the parts store, buying parts from Dodge, uh, dealership, which, you know, no not to you, if that's what you want to do, it's your money, you can do whatever you want to do. But if you're like me, where you want to save the best, you want to save the most money, you want to get the best deal for your bang for your buck or whatever, you know, whatever somebody might want to call it, uh, this video is definitely going to help you. Um, by no means is this video a way of me telling you, hey, you need to shop like this. this that's not what this video is about. This video is about, hey, this is how I shop myself for my truck, okay? I'm gonna show you guys, and for my car also. I'm gonna show you guys on the computer here. I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I, you know, what search engines I use, uh, you know, how I type stuff in and whatnot like that. It might be helpful, you know, 100 people watch this, and one person, you know, watches it and is like, hey, help me, then I did my job, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not out there for the masses, I'm just out there to help every day, the local do-it-yourselfer guy that's trying to get the best bang for his buck, you know, because like most people, we're not sponsored, um, we don't get money from companies, YouTube, and stuff like that, so we're trying to get the most out of our money and make our dollar stretch. Um, along with this video, if you're watching it, I will be showing the next upgrade that is coming to the comments this week. Part should be here mm, tomorrow, honestly, because it shipped out of uh, North Carolina, and I live in North Carolina, so it should be here tomorrow. Um, definitely, though, it's going to be some good stuff, so I can't wait to do that install. It's cheap, it's simple, and it, it really helps you out a lot. And I didn't notice until a couple days ago when I came across it on eBay, when I was all I was doing was just looking at random truck parts and I came across that and I started reading into it and I saw that and then I went on YouTube, did some research, went on some forums, read it and I saw that and I was like, oh snap, I didn't even know about that. So, if you can, and this applies to a 6.7 and a 5.9, so the only difference is they look different, but if you got a 5.9 or a 6.7, you can do the same thing. My dog's right here so he keeps trying to sniff me. And also, if you guys see me like, my tongue looking weird, it's because I had to spray um, this bitter spray for my dog because he kept chewing on my shoes and he just he no matter what you did he wouldn't get it so I bought this bitter spray my wife got this bitter spray for us for him so if you see me like drinking something or like my, you know my face looks weird it's not because of I'm on camera it's because I have a really nasty bitter taste in my mouth like it's like drinking expired milk or something like you just your face just cringes I want to do that right now but I'm not going to do it on camera so nonetheless first I'm going to go ahead that way you guys aren't waiting and suspenseful. I'm gonna uh, show you what the next mod is for the Cummins. And then on, after that, I'm gonna show you how I search for parts. Once again, it's, this is how I do it. I feel like it works really well for me. Um, I've, been able, I've been able to get a lot of parts for the low, um, not full price or like what the websites charge. Um, a lot of this Google, a lot of this eBay, hit and miss, Craigslist, uh, just because where I live at, Craigslist isn't really popping when it comes to diesel stuff. So, nonetheless, we're gonna go ahead and get this started. I don't, I don't wanna have you guys wait. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and start with, I already opened up several tabs, uh, just showing some stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is the upgrade mod, okay? Right now. Oh, <laughs> my bad. All right, so check it out, okay? I ordered a RDP fuel rail plug for the 6.7. Um, this is going to help out the the fuel rail, the fuel system, a pretty good bit, okay? I didn't know when I first opened this, I did not know what it was really doing. But after doing research, it's pretty simple. So your stock P, your stock pressure is gonna relieve after it gets above 27,000 PSI. I was watching videos and they said 23,000, doesn't matter, it's gonna relieve itself. Uh, so that way there's not excessive pressure. Problem is with that is, if you got a truck that is tuned with a tuner, so if you're running the HNS Minimax, the Edge, uh, EFI Live, whatever it may be, problem with that is you're not getting your full, you're not getting your full bang for the buck because your fuel curves is going to curve down once you peak about. For my truck, I know when I hit about three grand, 
she's done like that's it you know so and I know part of that is because you know after that you start going into the red but besides that point uh, but yeah definitely she stops she, you know she peaks out at about three and then it'll drop down the fuel you will see the fuel drop down uh, on the HMS Mini Max you can see you can see the um, you can see the line pressure drop down so this is gonna alleviate that um, also common symptoms like it says here of leaking pressure relief valves if you get a trouble code Papa or <laughs> Papa military so if you get P0087 or a P1011 that means that there's a leak in pressure relief valve somewhere okay now the cool thing is is on the 67 and the 59 this also applies to the 59 oh and Duramax guys right here boom check that out and if you're a Duramax guy because we all run common common rail injections is this is a quick fix um this this particular one is going to be for 67 slash what was it freaking 667 or the six yeah the 6.6 .6 Duramax uh, I don't know what model that is 04 and a half to 2010 so I'm assuming LB7 all the way up to uh, LLM or LMM how I don't I don't keep up with there with the Duramaxes but yeah uh, 591 it is it's cheap and it also goes for about the same um, same price it's really cheap and it, and it looks a little different it's taller but this one is simple it's right on the field manifold you crack it loose you spin it on make sure the washer's on and you're done and then you're going to notice a steady fuel pressure that was my dog you're going to notice a steady fuel pressure um coming from your fuel system from your fuel manifold because it's not going to drop off after that uh i was watching videos from calibrated i think it was calibrated diesel or calibrated powers they were saying that some of the issues with that is that if the if the fuel you're trying to get more fuel it's going to drop off you're, you're not getting the full value out of it uh, you're also going to strain your injectors all of the, they mentioned a bunch of stuff I watched this video the day I was researching this but this is what I bought um, you can see right here it says you bought this item so I ordered this uh, two days ago 20 bucks it's cheap now guess what you don't have to get this one I bought this one from Rudy's Diesel uh, I know people have I bought this one from Rudy Diesel so right here where the mouse is at I know people have their guys or their their their, their vendors, the go-to people. You know, Greg A has uh, I can't think of his name right now. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo, yeah, Enterprises, something like that. Greg A does that, but this is the update. Um, so the rail plug, we're gonna be swapping that out. Uh, hopefully tomorrow. It should be here tomorrow by the time I get home from work. So definitely. Okay, so now I'm gonna close this out. So now we're, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go on over to how I search for parts. So if I want parts, right? So if I want to look for parts for my truck, where do I go? All right. So my top one, eBay is really eBay. good. For those of you guys who never really trusted eBay or think eBay is a scam, they're gonna take your money and run away. That's old. Okay. eBay is awesome. eBay is eBay today is not what it was back in 1998, where if you paid for something, nothing happened. Uh, if you guys don't know, PayPal is the way eBay rolls. So if you're paying with something with PayPal. It's guaranteed up to two thousand dollars in coverage. All right, meaning if you buy something, don't receive it. All you have to do is go on PayPal, say, "Hey, I did not receive this pack, my product," and they will give you the money back, no questions asked, no argument, no fight, no nothing. Google. So eBay is legit. what I love about Google is that you can type in what you want, and it's gonna pull it from everywhere. Okay, so if eBay has the best deal for what you're looking for, it's gonna pull up eBay. If Amazon has it, it's gonna pull up Amazon. And what's awesome about it is it shows you multiple people. So, for example, my buddy has a 12 valve, a 98 12 valve. So, he needs a passenger side knuckle or spindle for his uh, axle. So, we're going to type it in real quick 1998 Dodge Ram 20, because it was still called Dodge back then. 2500 uh, right hand, let's, try, let's type spindle. Okay. And then 4x4 four four, because he has a 4x4. Four so we're gonna type this in. First thing that comes up, shop for. Okay, you can hit here or you can hit here. I like to, it doesn't matter, I just click on it. Now he has a four a four bolt spindle. So this won't work. This is probably for a two wheel drive here. He has a four wheel drive. So what you can do is you can go down and Google pulls it from multiple websites. Like if you see this one, they have this one in stock and it's in 50 plus stores. So I mean, if you click on it, it's gonna show you the stores and it's gonna show you the stores with the best prices, okay? Obviously, this, I'm sorry, obviously Advanced Auto is not the best deal. So X that out. Summit Racing has it for 163, Parts Geeks has it for 163.95. Same thing, okay? Uh, 
Let's close this out. Let's scroll down and see if we actually see what he he wants. Okay. Okay, so nothing showed up because this is not what we needed. So instead of putting spindle, we'll put knuckle. And he's he he really is currently looking for this. So if you guys know somebody who has it, uh, let me know. The tie rod goes into one. his is wallowed out, so uh, he has a lot of play there. He needs to get that changed out ASAP. Okay, so coming down, we don't see what we're looking for necessarily, but if you understand what I was saying, you get the gig. Okay, um, obviously, and I'm gonna caddy off of this onto something else that's really good that I think a lot of people do not know about, especially you guys with the old school 12 valves, uh, first gen, second gen 12 valves, even third gen, you know, and, you know, even fourth gen, depending on what part you're looking for. I think you guys are gonna really like this. You probably already know what it is based off the search tabs. But uh, let's try something else. So let's try something for my truck. So 2008, that's not 2008, there we go. 2008 Dodge Ram 2500 uh, cab lights. Okay, and I already found some cab lights online. But here we go. Okay, so it's gonna pull up. So right here from the first one, you got recon lights, recon cab lights. Apparently recon is the brand to go with. They don't, they don't get humidity inside of them. They don't leak, they don't uh, short out, stuff like that. I don't know. I don't have any yet. Um, I will have some cab lights soon, but I don't know if they're gonna be recon brands. So yeah, uh, what else we got? So yeah, we got multiple multiple cab lights. Uh, right you know, here is LED clearance light for Dodge Ram, twenty nine bucks. That's on eBay because you can tell because it says from eBay. All right. So if you don't have an eBay account, you really you're really doing yourself an injustice. You need to get an eBay account. It's free. They don't spam you. Um, it's a hundred percent legit. I love eBay. And okay, this right here. If you type in what you're looking for, you're probably gonna find it, okay? Now when you find it, make sure you're not overpaying for it, okay? So go down the list, take your time. Don't just click on the first one because you're like, oh, that's what I want. Take your time, find what you want, pay for it, or get the best deal for it, okay? Don't waste money when you don't have to. Same thing on eBay. eBay, when you type stuff in, eBay will usually list the most accurate description for what you want at the lowest price, okay? So when you first hit eBay, it's gonna probably show you what is the cheapest option for what you're looking for. And then after that, it's gonna start going up higher in price. Um, check out your research. When you're on eBay, let me show you guys real quick. Cause I don't want you guys to, I don't want you guys getting gypped, okay? And I showed you guys this earlier, but just to you know, double check. All right, so when you go and you find an object, so you know, let's say you're looking for a fuel rail plug, you're like, fuel rail plug, heck yeah. Now let's imagine this was the price instead of 1999 was 599. Okay, when you see 599, do not just jump on it. Take your time and do the research. Okay, right here where it says shipping. Okay, notice here it says Burlington, North Carolina. That's in America, United States. Okay, America. High quality, high quality production parts. They ship to the U.S. and Canada. If it says China, it's going to be uh, Craigslist. Okay, Craigslist is nice because. Every now and then, you if you're looking for something, you might just get lucky and find it out here um, or find it on there. So I have this one set as Craigslist San Diego because Craigslist, where I'm at, is pretty weak. Um, everybody, it's all about marketplace. Facebook marketplace is another good way too, but Craigslist is my go-to because the only thing that popped up so was a Smarty Tuner. All right, that's cool. Well, let's check this out. Let's see what's up with this. Okay, so we got the Mad Smarty Touch Programmer. So it looks like here, you can get the Smarty Tuner. This is 600, they want 600 bucks or best offer. And, or you can trade up or down for another second gen Cummins goodies. He's looking for an aftermarket intake cooler like an ATS Mishimoto or Banks, if he has that. Uh, water meth injection system like Snow Performance. Bunch of stuff he's looking for. So the cool thing about Craigslist is you can barter, you can, if you have something somebody else wants and you have and they have what you want you can trade uh, it might be with cash on top depending on the value of what you guys are trading but that's the cool thing about Craigslist and you can do this on Facebook marketplace uh, I personally don't use Facebook marketplace so I'm not gonna bother pulling it up but it's something good to know I mean this right here is a smarty to a smarty what is a smarty freaking the touchscreen one going for 600 bucks okay that's a really good deal because I know for a fact Double R Diesel, if you buy just the MM3, or not even MM3, if you just buy the Smarty Tuner, I'm pretty sure it's 800 bucks alone. You're getting this for 600 and he's one of the trades. So if you have something that he wants, which is whatever this is, you can trade with him and save money, get it for 300 bucks, you know what I'm saying? So Craigslist is good. 
always hit up Craigslist when you're looking for certain parts. So you certain might get lucky. I'm not saying you will, but you might. Okay. Next one is going to be a lot of people don't know about this one. This is going to be a salvage yard search. Okay. So real quick, and it, and I click on this one because it works, and it was like one of the first ones to come up. So. Let's say you're like my buddy. I'm going to show you, for example, he has a, a 1998 12 valve 2500 Cummins. He's looking for a passenger side spindle or knuckle, whatever. He's looking for it. He can't find it on eBay, Google search, nada. Okay, so if you're in the same boat where you're looking for something for, like, let's say you're looking for that perfect dashboard for your 12 valve or second gen Cummins where they're known for cracking, check do this. You're probably going to be happy, okay? So we're going to go to here. All I type, and you saw what I typed in. All I typed in was junkyard search engine search, and this is going to generate a search. Okay, so I'm going to click on this one because just I'm never buying anything from here. I'm just testing it out. So we're going to do we're going to do my buddy's truck because that's what he's looking for. So we're going to do a Dodge 1998 2500 pickup. Boom. So we're going to type in spindle. Spindle knuckle front. All right, and then you go ahead and just search it. Let's see what comes up. Now, what it's doing is these are multiple junkyards throughout the whole country. So you know how you might have five, four, three, ten, twelve junkyards within where you live. This is going to search all the junkyards that signed up or or that put their products online. It's going to search through the entire inventory throughout the entire country, and they're willing to ship products too. So right now, my buddy needs a passenger side knuckle for his 12 valve. Okay, so right here, and it's a 4x4. Four four. So his is a, this is a 4x2, no good. So we need a 4x4. Four four. Let's keep looking. These are all 4x2s, four 4x2s, twos, four twos, actually. Real quick, let's change it up. Let's switch it up. Oh, no, wrong one. 4x4, four four. we need a right. Oh, God dang it. Moving too fast. We need a right side. So we got a 60 Spicer. All right, so now we're seeing four by fours, right side, passengers. All right, YouTube, so I'm back, I'm done. Uh, this is the video. I'm sorry if it went on a little bit too long, uh, but I just had to get my point across. I feel like uh, if I make, you know, like I said, a hundred people watch this and one person takes something away from the video, then it's a good cause. So definitely, um, thank you for watching and thank you for checking my channel out and checking out the Instagrams and all that stuff. Once again, check out the Instagram if you haven't. It. It's gonna be below here on the screen. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for you guys for the support on Instagram and YouTube that have been commenting, liking, watching the videos, being engaged in the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. We're gonna have the update coming soon. Uh, hopefully tomorrow, as long as I get, um, as long as I get the, uh, the rail plug. Uh, this video probably won't be uploaded until Thursday morning. Uh, so East Coast time on Thursday morning. It probably won't be uploaded just because I have to edit it, make sure everything's tight and that it. I don't want to be uh, putting out any crap product with you guys. Uh, but please, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and give me a thumbs up. Uh, it really helps the channel. It really helps me out with uh, getting my videos up there so that way more people can view it and have the opportunity to be able to watch my content. And I really appreciate it. Um, the goal is a thousand subscribers. I'm trying to get that thousand subscribers right now. Uh, that's what we're trying to do. So the more likes we get for the videos, the more views we get, the higher I go up in the total poll. So I definitely appreciate it. Um, like I said in my last video, I know this YouTube said 2018, or people say 2018 is not the year to have a YouTube channel because of the new algorithms, but I don't care. I want to take the challenge on. So once again, if you enjoy this content, please do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe to the channel for more content because we're not going to be doing videos like this all the time where I'm just sitting and talking. We're actually going to have an install video coming up next. So please subscribe. You won't be disappointed. Also, check out the Instagram. Links in the uh, links down below in the description. You will not be disappointed. I guarantee. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that is going to be it for now. Until next time, you guys take care. Be safe. God bless. Peace.